Welcome to Maths TV. We will be going through a series of step-by-step uh, -step syllabus revision videos, and we will be going through different segments of video uh, of uh, syllabus. Today we have selected, uh, as you can see, circles. Basically, we have selected, and this is important part of uh, IGCSC, Adaxel, Cambridge, AQA and even CBSC and other boards also so we will be going through circles first of all I will be going through the main just terms of the circle and I just want to mention that these videos will be in different parts and today we are going through this one is the first part and um, you can watch the other parts also for completion of this uh, portion so we'll go through the terms if we go through the terms of circles these are basic terms i just wanted to go through quickly so this is uh, basically this green portion is the boundary of the circle which is uh, known as uh, uh, circumference of the circle and this portion small portion is arc and this colored portion this one we are saying this is a sector and radius is any point from the circumference up to the center of the circle this is the center of the circle then diameter is basically uh, uh, the greatest line from one point of the circumference to the other point and it should pass through the center or you can say it's card what is card card is just a segment like separating uh, a portion of the circle chord is joining one point of circumference with the other and the biggest chord is basically the diameter diameter is the biggest chord then this portion colored portion yellow color is known as segment uh, so these are the basic terms of the chord and a smaller portion of the arc is minor arc for example from this point to this point will be minor arc and the other portion will be known as major arc that is not mentioned over here but these are basically the basic terms of circle which we, I have just gone through next we will be going through turn by turn all the rules of circle theorem and today we'll be starting with this screen and this is rule number one and this is the diagram given the rule is the angle in a semicircle is a right angle so angle in a semicircle semicircle is half circle like this one is a semicircle or a half circle so angle like this or like this one so this will always be 90 degree and the rule which we will be writing in in questions they are asking in exam questions they are asking mention the rule also so you will have to give reason and reason you will have to mention the angle in a semicircle is right angle so this is like first rule we will be going through and the second rule is a tangent to a circle makes a right angle with the radius at the point what is tangent tangent is basically a line which is touching the circle at only one point like for example this is the line which is touching this circle at only this one point so this is tangent line and this is the radius you know and radius is from the center to the circumference and this radius is making an angle of 90 degree and this is the rule that a tangent to a circle a tangent to a circle makes a right angle with the radius at that point we can um, apply in other like uh, opposite way also like for example if radius is making 90 degree with a line touching the circle it will be um, uh, uh, like tangent to the circle so this is how a rule we will be mentioning a tangent to a circle makes a right angle with the radius at the point 
and third rule if we go through is this diagram we can see like this is isocell's triangle this triangle is isocell's triangle this is also also cell's triangle um, isos a triangle formed by two radii is isocell's triangle so if you see this triangle this is radius and this is also radius so these two sides are equal their angles will also be equal and two sides are equal so it will be isosceles triangle so this if you consider this triangle if i zoom in like this one so this radius and this radius so radius will be equal in size so opposite angles will also be equal in size so we will say uh, that two uh, the triangle formed by two radii is isosceles triangle so these are three rules we have gone through now we'll be going through uh, questions related to these rules and we will practice these rules by actual past paper or different questions okay now let us practice these rules in actual questions and we will see how we will be applying these rules this is the first question which we have selected and we can see this is the circle and this one is angle in a semicircle so we know that the angle in a semicircle is right angle triangle we just learned so this angle will be right angle triangle we will be considering first this upper triangle we will be considering this one so I'm shading for your understanding this one. So this angle is given 70 degree and this one we know is right angle. It means this is 90 degree, this one. So if this is 90 degree, this is 70 degree and we can find so sum of angles will be equal to 180 degree. So in the working we can write N plus 90 degree plus 70 degree is equal to 180 degrees and n will be equal to 180 minus 90 minus 70 degrees so this n will be equal to we can calculate this angle so 180 minus 90 minus 70 will be 20 so this angle will be 20 degrees this is what we found for the upper triangle similarly the same rule we can apply for the lower tri uh, triangle also unshaded one so this angle will be 90 degree by the rule and what is the rule the angle in a semicircle is a right angle so this will be uh, we can write this 90 degree or this symbol is also 90 degree so m will be equal to uh, 180 minus 43 and minus 90 degrees so we can subtract these two angles from m and we will get 180 180 minus 43 minus 90 this will be equal to 47 so this will be 47 this is done so if it is one more question just mentioning this angle will be sufficient but if it is one more question for the uh, this uh, angle determination and they have written like a reason like in some question uh, they are saying what is the reason uh, for that one like uh, you'll have to give the justification reason or justification so that will be having separate marks for that one you will have to mention the rule which we have just gone through which is the angle in a semicircle is right angle this is what you will have to write to get the other mark which is the, the rule you will have to mention the angle in a semicircle uh, is right angled or right angled so this is done we can take another question in this question uh, two rules are applied the rules which just now we have discussed are this one a tangent to a circle makes a right angle with the radius at the point and the second rule the triangle third rule the triangle formed 
by two radii is isocells. So these two rules will be applied in this question and we will be discussing that one. So this is tangent, it's touching the, uh, the circle at one point. So this by rule, this is 90 degree and out of 90 degree, this angle is 69. So we can find this remaining angle that will be 90 minus 69 is equal to 21. So this angle will be 21 which we got from the rule that um, a tangent a tangent to a circle makes a right angle with the radius at a point. So this is the radius at a point, this is a tangent, so this is 90 degree, this is 69, this will be 21, which we found 90 minus 69 is equal to 21 degrees. This is what we have done. Next part is basically we have to reach to this P and we know by the other rule which is uh, the triangle formed by two radii. This is radius, this is also radius. So these two radii are making isosceles triangle. So these two sides will be equal. They are opposite angles. Opposite of this uh, side is this angle. Opposite to this side is this angle. If this is 21, this will also be 21 degrees. So we can write P is equal to 21 degrees. And the reason for this one we have to mention is a triangle formed by two radii is isosceles triangle. And for the first one is tangent to a circle makes a right angle triangle. So in this question, we have applied these two rules. Hopefully you are understanding this. Okay, my friends, we have gone through two questions, basically this one and this one in which all three rules which we have gone through are covering and we will be, this is basically, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this this is step by step review videos and it will be, uh, we will be taking in different segments of the syllabus. So today, as you know, we have selected this uh, circle uh, theorems and circle rules and we have covered three rules. There are other rules in uh, the, they will be coming in uh, incoming videos. So I will uh, suggest you to, to go through part second also, part two, and we will be covering all the syllabus. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe the mass tv channel and like the video thank you very much take care bye